with the floor it is now yours all right thank you Serge, for that introduction um as the introduction stated um i'm mr sure uh brandon sure also too um with me today we have Serge again thank you for the intro we also have uh, miss charisma jackson uh, and also my supervisor leticia little uh, the, three the three of us together, together we are the counseling department, department here at Bloomfield College. College. Uh, we, uh, work we work within the wellness, wellness center. center. Also, also, we are handling the mental health counseling, counseling but also, also in the mental, mental, mental also, also in the, the wellness, wellness center, center, you can find uh, a uh, nurse's, nurse's department, department and also we also have a chaplain in the wellness center as well. But as the introduction stated, this presentation will be more so about the work, the work that, that we do in the, the counseling department within the wellness center. center. And, and I will be I'll going be over a lot of information as far as, as uh, what, what mental, mental health counseling is, is and how it is utilized by the students, students here at Bloomfield. For, for those who are interested, interested in knowing, knowing um, for those who want to know a greater depth about how mental health counseling works, this presentation hopes to let everybody know how it works and what you can get out of it. So, so I'm just going to take a minor, minor second, second to get my PowerPoint slide, slide up and running, running and, and just bear, just with, bear me. with me. Ready? Is that? Is that? Okay. All right. I'll pop this, this up. up. So let's check. Sure. All right. All right. Is everybody, everybody able to see, to see that? that? Um, just, just say yes, because yes, I no. Already... No. no. Okay. All right. All right. All right. I will All fix right. that again. Second. I'm going to uh, do it a do different way. I stopped sharing like my screen, correct? Yes. yes. Okay. Yes. I think this. I just uh, clicked the wrong. Okay. Yes. How about now? Yes. Okay, that's the right way of doing it. All right. So, been able to do that, and also, would you? Are you guys still able to see the PowerPoint slide? Yeah. The way it is now. Okay. All right. Perfect. So. Once again, Once again, this uh, information, information will be about, be about what is mental health counseling, counseling uh, as, uh, it, as pertains it pertains to Bloomfield College, College and, and we'll go we'll over some of the services, services that we're able to provide, some things, some things that you can, that you can look, look out, out for as far as, far as, as um, getting mental health, health services here, here um, what we're what able, able to do, to and what our goals are from a counseling perspective for students who are eligible for mental health counseling. So, so, and then, and then also, also too, too um, you, can you can contact, contact us, us at the numbers the provided right there, there um, extension 1302. 1302. We're located at the second floor of Talbot Hall, uh, uh, Suite 200 within the Wellness Center. Center. And we'll, and we'll go, go over that information a little bit more towards the end of the PowerPoint, but that's just some preliminary information to begin with. All right, so without further ado, uh, I, wanted I wanted to start, start this, information this information by covering, by covering some, some of the common, common myths, or you can also say attitudes, or maybe perspectives, perspectives or just some, just things some things that, that um, as, as an individual, individual if you've, if you've never, heard never heard too much about mental health counseling, counseling or only or heard of it a little, little bit, it had, had limited, limited experiences. experiences, these are these some of the common myths and whatnot that are usually associated with mental health. And, and I wanted, I wanted to, just to just have, have a conversation, conversation about, about these myths that, that are listed here, here and, and how, how that, that might not truly, not truly be the case when it comes to mental health counseling, counseling. As, as this presentation is really just trying to shed light, light on what, what mental health counseling, counseling is and what the service provides for individuals. So myth one, something that I've run into a lot, where, where um, a student, student or, or an individual, individual talking, talking to me, to me uh, uh, though I've, I've heard sometimes that they'll say that mental health counseling, counseling is only for crazy, crazy people. people. And, and I put I crazy, crazy in quotations, quotations because, because the word, the word crazy, crazy in itself doesn't, doesn't that, 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 that word and that, that language doesn't really 
have any power, power anymore, anymore, especially when you're working in the mental health, health counseling field. field. Um, crazy, crazy people, like, like when people say crazy, crazy they, they might think, think that, that, oh, uh, that oh, person is not normal, normal or, or they're, they're not, not, you know, you know regular. regular. But, but that, that doesn't, doesn't really, really exist. exist. In, the, in, in the mental health counseling, counseling um, um, we see we things. things. We're, We're able, able to provide, provide um, individuals um, with just, just behaviors, behaviors. Uh, uh, with no with placement. placement. The word the crazy, crazy is not, is not even, even in our, in our realm. realm. It's just, it's just what, what feelings you're having, having, what emotions you're having, having, and what and behaviors are you exhibiting. And, and mental health counseling is utilized for anybody. anybody. It, there's, there's especially when you take, you take the, the concept, concept of crazy, crazy out, out of, it, of it because, because that's, that's not, not really anything, anything that, that it, is, is something, something that, that we can't, can't work, work with. with. So, so with, with the point to make is that mental health counseling is not only for crazy, crazy people. people. In, fact, In fact, as a mental health counselor, or one that's striving to become one, we've learned that that word is not. Relevant, relevant anymore. anymore. We, we meet the client where they're at, at and, and from, from there, there we, we see what see we can, what do, we can do, do to help uh, strengthen, strengthen certain behaviors, behaviors or attitudes or emotions, or, emotions, or alleviate some, some behaviors, behaviors, attitudes, or emotions. Emotion. Everything, Everything is uh, in, in the scope of what we can do when it comes down to the So don't, don't think that this is only for crazy people because it really doesn't exist. We can, we can take, take people, people uh, from where we're at. at. Okay. okay. Um, um, myth number, number two, two, another one another that I've heard often, is just talking, talking and counseling about problems is not going to solve my problems. problems. And, and I really, I really do, do believe, believe that that, that is furthest from the truth. Um, um, when it comes down to a mental health perspective, perspective um, not being um, able, not being provided the opportunity to talk about. Your issues, issues in a way, in a way where, where a mental health counselor, counselor is receptive of that, and we'll totally, totally get into to how that how process is done a little bit more in this um, uh, uh, information. But, but a lot, a lot of, the of the times, in the first, first step of the counseling, counseling process, process, it's just, just allowing the client to speak, speak in a way in where they're not going to be judged, in a way that they will be understood and heard. And again, we'll go into that in finer detail. In a few, in a minutes, few minutes from here, here. But, but mental health counseling allows, allows you the space, space to just, to just let, let it out. out. And you'd and be, you'd surprised, be surprised, surprised how letting, letting it, out it out helps you to untangle some of the some thoughts, thoughts and emotions, and emotions that, that are leading, leading you to a uh, life that, that you may not feel satisfied with, with, or you or may you have, have different barriers or blockages stopping you from happiness or success. Um, being, um, being able to just, just talk, talk in a space where you feel comfortable, comfortable which is which not promised in just regular or ordinary, ordinary life, life, is indeed helpful. helpful. And that's and something, something that you'll experience, experience if you ever decided, decided to take, take part, part in mental health counseling. counseling. Um, um, in, general, in general, not just not here at Fairfield, but, but um, in general. general. And I just wanted to make that point where talking in a space where you are going to be listened to does a, does lot, a lot to, to help, help whatever, whatever mental health, health issues you are feeling that you may or may, may not be having, okay? okay. Um, um, kind of moving on to what I was saying with myth number, number three. three. Um, um, I got I friends got and family, family to, talk to talk to. I don't need mental health counseling. counseling. And, and don't get me wrong. wrong. If you if have you friends and family to where you are able to talk to and feel like they... Um, are listening, listening and they're there for you, for you. That, is that is great. great. Mental health counseling will never want to take, take away some of the some social, social support that you have. Um, um, however, however, with our with educational, educational background, background as a as counselor, counselor, we might be able to help, help you rearrange some, some of your thoughts, thoughts and feelings, feelings as far as, far as like, like how to incorporate your family and friends into the nurturing process. If there's, if there's a point, a point where, where you feel like you like may, may need to talk to somebody, to somebody or talk to a counselor, and yet, and yet you, still you still have friends and family to talk to, to maybe, maybe you just you need an additional, additional support, support, one that, one that can tie all things, things together. together. Um, um, it doesn't, it doesn't have, have to just be either or. or. 
and when it went take out the first person of, of you know, you know, mental health counseling is crazy people. people. When you take, when you take that, that out of the church, you know, you, know, you get you to get bolster, bolster how many, how many people, people and social, social support you have, have that can that make can sure, sure that, that you are you going, are going to, be to be living your best, best life, life, you know, you know um, um, that mental, that mental health, health is optimal. optimal. And, and we involve all of that into the talk process. We would love to help identify people and friends, family and friends who support you. And we all supposed to be an access to that. that. So, so the more the merrier is, is the point I'm trying, I'm trying to make with number, number three. three. Um, um, friends and family are great. Uh, also, also utilize, utilize us because we have, have uh, educational uh, background, background to, to assist you even, even further in case that, that you're in need of talking, talking to somebody, somebody like a counselor. Kind of going into myth number four. And, and in certain, certain population populations or population groups, groups uh, uh, you, know, you know, Bloomfield, Bloomfield is, is a, a uh, predominantly, predominantly black, institution, black institution, and we and also, also serve uh, persons, persons of Spanish, Spanish uh, black, black or brown. brown. We, we talk, talk to, to there's a lot of students who are here, here of, of, of minority, minority status. status. And, and common with that, that is, is uh, uh, I, do, uh, I don't need mental health counseling because I go, I go to church, church slash, slash pray. pray. And again, and again I am not, I am not, I am not suggesting not or uh, saying, saying that that, that is, a is a factor, factor that, that should, should you should you stop, stop if you went to mental health counseling. Um, um, church and prayer and anything, anything spiritual, spiritual or religious, religious that, that you find helpful is awesome. Is awesome. And we would love to incorporate that into the Counseling, counseling um, your, your, your interaction and counseling, counseling process, process anyway. anyway. What, what I'm just trying to make with that, that is that, that church, church and prayer, prayer could, could lead you to something, something like mental health counseling. It's almost, it's almost the same, same thing, thing as you can say with, with you know, you know going, going to a medical, medical doctor. doctor. Um, um, you, can, you can, church and prayer can absolutely help, help you know, you feel like you're supported. If you're, if you're having a physical, physical ailment, ailment like, like uh, sickness, sickness or, or you know, you know healing, healing for, for uh, if you injured, injured like, like your, your finger or your hand, hand you, know, you know, you'll, you'll ask, ask the church to pray, pray, for, pray for it. Absolutely. absolutely. Um, um, but you would also, also see a medical, medical doctor, doctor to make sure that on the physical front, things are being addressed appropriately. And you may even, you know, use church prayer to help find those things doctors, doctors to, help to help you get through, get through something, something uh, uh, physical, physical illness. illness. The point, the point I'm, trying I'm trying to make is it's, it's the same thing from mental health counseling, counseling where, where um, church, church and prayer, prayer probably, probably has not so far already. already. And, and perhaps, perhaps within, within your prayer, prayer you can you be led, led to seeking out counselors because, because that's, that's what we're here for. And we're tangible people to help you with anything mental health related. Here, here uh, um, that you, that you, we're here, we're for, here you. for you. So, so you don't you have, don't to, have overlook to overlook mental health counseling, counseling or, or see it as a separate entity from church or prayer. prayer. Again, Again, it's, it's more, more of a point of, of the more the merrier, and, and we're a resource, we're resource here, here that you can, that you can use, use in addition, in addition to, prayer to prayer that, that will lead you to your best and optimal mental health. And that's all. It's like it's a like team effort, is what, I'm, what trying I'm trying to say. say. Um, and then and lastly, then lastly with, myth with myth number five, five um, some, some people have some stigma, stigma or negative, negative attitudes of, towards going to uh, mental, mental health counseling. counseling. One, One in particular is people will think early if I attend therapy. therapy. And, and honestly, honestly speaking, speaking, nobody, nobody has, has to know if you attend therapy or not because all services are confidential. And we'll talk about that maybe next slide or two slides. But... Um, if it's, if it's a, matter a matter of, of not getting the word out, out or are you not going to know that that, pe- that you that are in therapy, therapy, nobody, nobody has, has to know, know first, first of all. all. And, and with it with being it confidential, confidential, you can, you can also, also isn't is it better, better that, that you, you could, could go to therapy, therapy and get the help that you need or, you know, get the services that you're looking for? And, and still, still you, know, you know, be good, be good from, from that. that. One, nobody, One, nobody has, has to know, know and you, and feel, you better. feel better. You know, you know 
and that, and that could be something that we never talk as far as, far as like, like I have that, that idea that, that people, people will judge, will judge me. me. You know, you we know, can explore, explore that. that. Where is that coming from? from? Why would Why that make that you make feel uncomfortable? But also, at the very front part of it is that therapy is confidential. Nobody knows unless you let them know. And, there, and there, there's, there's some, some other, other parts, parts to confidentiality, confidentiality where, where if you're like a danger, danger to yourself or others, others then, then maybe that information has to be reported to the court. court. But, but in general, in general the, one the one that counts is, is for you, you. It, is it is your business, your business and it's nobody, nobody else. else. So, so you can, you, can, you, don't, have you don't have to think about, about that because counseling is just for the person who is attending the counseling. So we'll go on to the next slide, which will. Now we'll now start, we'll to, start introduce to introduce a little bit more of what, what mental, mental health counseling is. is. Um, um, by the by time, time, if by if chance, chance you decide that, that okay, okay, I do want to go into mental health counseling. I don't know what I've gotten myself into, into but, but you know, you know I, hear I hear it's great. great. Um, I got some, some things that I want to talk about. As a aspiring mental health counselor, here are some things that I can let you let know, you know about, about what, what the mental health counseling process, process looks like. like. And, and really, really there's, there's four major components, components that um, make me consist of mental health counseling. counseling. There's, some there's some other, other stuff, stuff, but these are, are like the, the core four, four things, things that, that um, I would say to anybody to encourage them to, to seek out mental health counseling, if need be. And the number one or first thing to mention is that it's a safe place to talk. So again, it goes, it goes back, back to, to, you know, you know people, people if, if, if one of the myths where people will think poorly of me if, if uh, I do I go to go to self counseling. Again, again, it's confidential. It's so so I, I asked the, the uh, mental health counselor, counselor, I'm not talking to nobody. If you if want, want certain, certain people, people to know what you're what doing or not, that would be on you. But it's not going to be something that we're talking about to others. Because it's, it's confidential. confidential. And, and also, also too, too, when I say when it's I say a safe place to talk, to talk um, we have a non judgmental kind of standpoint, standpoint as a mental health counselor. counselor. Um, um, nothing, nothing is. Um, there's, there's, we can talk can about talk anything. About anything. Again, Again, I will, I say, will though, say, though, if, if you're, you're if, if, and what you're what talking about, it appears that you are a danger to yourself or a danger to others. Then, then that, that might, might have, have that, that will have, will to, have be to be spoken to um, to a different authority. authority. But if it's anything, anything else, else um, and, and, and it's and not it's that not we that would, would judge you for having thoughts of um, being a danger to yourself or to others. others, it's just, it's that, just that, that we would want you to be connected, connected to the right sources more immediately, more immediately so that those thoughts and that possibility is dealt with. And, and that you that get you to a better, better place. place. Um, um, not, not judging. judging. Um, um, we can understand, understand that, that people, people go through a lot, through a lot of different things, things nowadays, nowadays, especially, especially in, the in the midst of the pandemic, pandemic and whatnot. Not, um, emotions, emotions are all over the place. place. So, so we can we understand, understand how things can lead to where, you know, danger to yourself and whatnot. But I want to make the point that we're not, we're not judging, judging for that. that. That is that not is in not our code. That is not in our ethics. ethics. Um, we, we meet you where you are, are and our goal is to make you help you to feel better. better. Uh, we, uh, do we do that with a non judgment attitude. attitude. Um, um, it could be anything. anything. You know, you know, we'll take it for face value, value and go and from there. there. And, and in the process of counseling, we also present an unconditional positive regard. And in that, I mean, we have, we have, you will, you will find, find that, that even if, if you're doing, doing good, good one session, one session and, then and then the, the, the by the next time we talk, talk, everything, everything that, we that we talked about, about that, that, you know, you maybe said that, that, oh, we wouldn't do this, this or, or I'll make I'll sure you're not connected to this and I'm motivated to move forward, you didn't do it or you moved backwards. That's okay. That's what counseling is all about. It gives us something to talk about. Uh, uh, look, look assess as to what happened, what happened in that week, week or, or if it happened over two weeks. weeks. And, and we move forward, forward from, that. from that. You know, you know again, again, you won't be won't judged, you won't be attacked or anything like that. You will be, be 
we seek to understand and move forward from that. That is the point of unconditional positive regard. And um, it's a service to have because a lot of people may feel like, oh, if I didn't take their advice, they're not going to talk to me again. No. We, we take, take it for face value. We look at what may have happened, happened and we keep moving forward. forward. You got to get, gotta get right, right back, back on the course. course. So, so um, that, is that is something to expect as far as, as, as it being a safe place to talk in a mental health counseling perspective. perspective. Um, um, we'll, go we'll go to the, the next step, which is therapeutic alliance. Which is therapeutic alliance is that me as the counselor and you as the client. We want, we want to establish, to establish some trust, trust to where you trust me that, that we will be able, be able to accomplish, accomplish the goals, goals that you that want out of counseling, and I trust, I trust you, you to do, do not, just not just the work, the work but, but to be, be honest, honest to, to you know, you know be, real be real about, about your, experience, your experience, so that, so we, that can we can create a, a collaborative, collaborative approach, approach to. to the goals, the goals that, that you want, you to, want set to set for yourself. yourself. I'm not, not going to tell, tell you what needs to be done. You're the, you're leader. the leader. You're, you're able, able to let me know the things, the things that you want out of this or the things, or the things you, you want for your life. And from and there, from there we, we will set goals, goals that are that tangible, tangible so that we can make steady progress to the original goals that you set for counseling. That's the therapeutic alliance. You know, it should feel like, oh, I can talk I can to talk you about, to anything. about anything, you know. You know uh, I, trust I trust you with this, with this information because I know you won't, you won't run around and say it to everybody. everybody. That's, That's the part, the part that I'm trying, trying to get to with therapeutic, therapeutic alliance, alliance because, because that's something, something that, that you don't necessarily, don't necessarily can, get can get outside of the regular, regular community. community. Um, it's um, not promised. You can trust people, but in mental health counseling, that is a point that we're trying to create. Because, because it's, it's useful, useful to, to the to therapy, to therapy and, and to what we're, what trying, we're trying to accomplish. To accomplish. So, so that's another that's aspect, aspect of mental health counseling. counseling. Next, Next would, be would be effective, be effective communication. communication. Um, um, a lot of, lot times, of times, if you're talking with family and friends, you know, you it know, might it feel like, like you have to have a conversation. You say some stuff and then you have to stop and listen to what the other person is saying. Because, because you know, that's, equal. that's, that's just normal conversation, conversation how it goes. How it goes. Um, but, but in a mental health counseling setting, setting, we want to want hear, to from, hear you. from you. It's not it's about not us as the counselors. We're, We're here, here to, to respond to you, to you and be and in tune with, with you. you. But, but we're not going to get derailed by, by, oh, let me start telling you about what I did last weekend. That's not what we're here for. We're here as a mental health counselor to talk to, talk to you, you about, about what you would, you like, would to like to talk about. about. And for and that for whole that session, session whether it be 45, 45 minutes, 50 minutes, minutes maybe an hour, hour, it's about, it's about you. you. So, so it would feel like a place, place for you to talk to, talk to and be heard. heard. Um, we have we certain, certain techniques, techniques that we can do to really let you know that we're listening to you. And through a process of reflection, whatever you say, you'll hear back. Just so, just that, so you that you can get the get point that, that, wow, wow, this person really is this to me. That's how, That's we, how we uh, build, build the environment, environment of you, you a place for you to talk to, to and be heard, and for you to be understood. understood. And, and also, also, there's, there's a, a certain, certain approach and tone that, that we will take with um, the, counseling the counseling process, process in general. general. Um, um, most counselors... Have to have build, build traits, traits like personality, personality traits, traits, if you will, well. uh, of compassion, compassion genuineness, empathy, empathy trust. trust. It's, it's part, part of our training, training to be able to speak, speak with, with anyone, anyone about, about whatever it is that they're going through in that type of style and manner. manner. It varies it per counselor, counselor but, but in general, general these are these some of the things that you can somewhat. You know, you know, hope, hope to, expect to expect when doing the mental health counseling. Yeah. Um, because, because it builds to a safe, safe place to talk to. They all, they all, they all kind of work together. together. Uh, lastly, uh, lastly, which kind of sets it apart from just like regular like daily conversations, is that um, in, in lieu of, of like trying to figure out uh, where your mental health is or the things that you like to do, 
Um, um, we as that's what I'm talking about. There's no a lot of psychological interventions. Um, um, these are things that have been researched um, that, that has been proven, proven to help you get through, get through certain, certain obstacles, obstacles in life. In life. Um, um, I think the I next think the slide will talk about um, some diagnoses, but like, like if you're having, you're having a bout with depression, depression. We, know we know certain uh, ways, and we call them therapies, therapies to, help to help those symptoms, symptoms of depression. Of depression. Are, are, become, become more manageable, manageable or become, become alleviated, alleviated altogether. altogether. We're also, We're also able, able to let you know, know if, if depression is something that, that is actually happening to you or is it something, something else? else? You know, you know we, can we can create, create we're, we're able, able to, to um, really, really highlight what may or may, or may not be happening. happening. And, and we, we, don't, don't, we don't just leave you there. there. We move we forward and we work towards these, these symptoms, symptoms not being the, the case anymore. Whether, whether it's depression, it's anxiety, anxiety, PTSD, PTSD um, uh, we're able we're to able define it, it. Uh, uh, we're, we're able, able to talk, talk about it, it. And, then and then we're also, also able, able to, to uh, alleviate it, it if it if comes it down to a point where you're in mental health counseling because one of these diagnoses, that's what we're here for. And we have a commitment to successful treatment outcomes. Um, um, we have we to have measure, measure your progress, your progress and, and, you know, you know that's, that's part of part our, our job. job. So, so know that, that we're, we're committed, committed for you to, you to be successful, successful or, or to overcome or whatever, whatever it is, is that, that you can need to count in, in the first place. place. It's, part it's part of our mission. Our mission. Okay. okay. Then, then go to the next slide. So, so I was saying, saying a little bit earlier, earlier some of the some uses of mental health counseling. And, and I know I, know I mentioned, mentioned depression, anxiety, anxiety, and, and maybe PTSD, PTSD before. before. Um, um, but, but it doesn't, it doesn't have, have to just be, be uh, a diagnosis, diagnosis that you may have heard like on TV, TV or, or just in passing, like, 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 oh, like, like depression. depression. I, do I need mental health counseling because I'm depressed? Or do I need mental health counseling because... I have, I have PTSD. PTSD. Like, like, if you, if do, you do, yes, yes please come see us. But also, also there's, there's other things, things that, that could allow you to, to be in mental health counseling, counseling as well. As, well. Um, as, college as college students, students you, know, you know, especially, especially first, first year, year, or even or sophomore, sophomore, or you can also see it again when you're a senior. Each year when you're in college, there's going to be a period of adjustment, like somewhat major adjustment. As you, as you move from, from high, school, high school, you know, you, you might have been living at home. home. Um, you've, you've had a certain set of friends. friends. And, then and then all of a sudden, you're here, here uh, on, on campus, campus here at Greenfield, and, and all your friends are somewhere else. else. Um, um, or maybe, maybe, or maybe, maybe one thing, and that, that's, that's great. great. But um, um, what you want to know as you transition to that first year seems also unfamiliar now. Um, you're, bringing you're bringing a lot, a lot of, talents of talents and skills, skills from, from what you learned up into, up into graduating high, high school. school. But now, but now you're, at you're at this new world, world and, it's and it's like, like could, be could be frightening. frightening. It, could it could be nerve wracking, scary. scary. Like, like, what am I to do? do? How do I make, I make this adjustment? adjustment? That's when mental health counseling can come in. Because maybe you just need to recognize from a different perspective what it is that you're going through. Or just have a good space to talk about your experiences and how to navigate through. Navigate through, though. Mental health counseling is very good for looking at adjustments. Another adjustment, it may be like a different sense, is if you experience a loss of someone or something that was important to you and you kind of feel all that what's in about it. Mental health counseling is able to talk to you about what you're going through, assess the situation, make the connections, and over time, hopefully, um, learn how to cope with the loss or the new adjustment. Um, it's part of the mission that we do. Also, moving on to the next step. This is kind of where I was talking about, okay, let's say you have a more defined um, Mental, mental illness, illness like, like, or, just or just having, having some, some symptoms, symptoms that look familiar, familiar to, to, oh man, oh, man I might be depressed, depressed or, or man, man like, like, 
it was that a panic attack or maybe like is it do i have adhd or something you know you know you know mental health are able to uh, quantify, quantify all of that, that and allow you to see, see what it is, uh, uh, maybe, maybe some risk factors, factors leading, leading to a certain diagnosis, or, or if, if it's just, it's just like, hey, hey, it's not, it's not, that, it's not that, that bad, bad, you know, okay, okay you, you have, have a symptom of depression, but it's not depression, it's depression, it looks like this combination of things over a long period of time. And kind of kind getting of in a better, a better sense, sense and a better, better picture, picture of where, where um, you, might you might be at, at in, response in response to certain symptoms or things that, things you're, that experiencing, you're experiencing, you know, you that, know can that can help you to feel, feel more at ease, ease or let you know that, you know, hey, hey, I'm glad, glad I came here, here to rectify this issue because these symptoms I don't want to have, you know, I've been dealing with them and they don't feel too comfortable, so... Mental health is able, able to talk to, talk you, about to you about that, that and, and hopefully, hopefully get it resolved. Get it resolved. Um, um, another, another thing that thing happens that, that you might you use mental health counseling for, for is um, experiencing or witnessing, witnessing a traumatic, traumatic event, event. Um, natural, natural disasters, disasters um, um, uh, oh my gosh, gosh. Uh, car, car accidents. accidents. Anything, Anything that, that produces, produces that, that traumatic, traumatic emotional, emotional response. response. Um, things, things can change, can change quite, quite fast, fast in lieu of, of a, a, situ- a, a major situation, situation happening that, 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 you know, know kind of redirects your whole entire life, life and how you go about things. things. Um, getting, getting connected, connected to mental health and other resources like family and friends during that period of time actually does help you to not, not so, so affected, affected by it, it long term. The, the sooner you can you talk, can to, talk somebody to somebody who can, who help, can help, the better. The better. So, so um, if a if witness, a witness if, 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 if a traumatic event happens, happens, or you, or witness, you witness one, one and you, you, don't you don't know if this is going to do, do something, come, come, come talk, talk to us. us. Let's get Let's that get out and process that as fast as possible so that we can Ensure that, that your mental health, health stays pretty good, pretty good even, even after, after seeing something, something that, that, you know, was know, just kind of, that, that was that traumatic. Was traumatic. Um, um, lastly, lastly, we have, we have uh, mental health counseling used, used to treat, treat severe, severe mental, mental illness. illness. Um, um, here, here at Greenfield, Greenfield, we may, we may, not, may not go very, very much, much into, into like, like, um, like we're, we're working, working directly, directly with, with severe, severe mental illnesses. Severe mental illnesses. Uh, well, we, can we can definitely, definitely connect, connect you to, to facilities, facilities and other resources, resources that, that can assist, assist you. you. We, 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 we may be the maybe starting, starting point, point. Um, um, especially if it's, it's like a like new thing, thing to you, to where, where um, a schizophrenia, schizophrenia or, or bipolar, or if these symptoms are new to you, to you, you know, you we know, can we talk about it, but going from there, we can make sure that you get the health and services that you need. If the onset, the onset of any of severe mental, mental illness starts. starts. Um, um, we're here, we're to, here help, to help, and that's, that's takeaway. Take but, but, you know, you know that, that kind of focused, focused on, on the negative, negative let's say, or things, things that, that um, are happening to you that, that might be hindering you from, from like a normal, normal standpoint, standpoint or, you know, your, your best, best optimal, optimal perspective. perspective. But, but mental health counseling, while we can alleviate Things, things that, that are, are, are um, I, guess, I guess, quote unquote, quote known, known as bad for mental, mental health. health. Um, um, there's, a there's a whole part, part of mental health counseling, counseling that focuses on, on taking, taking what, what is, is normal, normal and good and, and making it even better. better. Um, um, a lot of this information next comes from the field of positive psychology. And positive psychology looks at, you know, helping others and individuals become their best version of themselves. Um, um, this, this could be done in a lot, a lot of different, different ways. ways. Um, a lot a of this lot is self exploration. So, like, so like mental health counseling can be used to see clarity, clarity guidance, guidance, insight, insight and development. development. Um, um, kind of like, kinda the, like more the more you know, you know about, yourself, about yourself, the better, the better you're, you're able, able to, to uh, provide, provide to the world. world. And, you know, you kind know, of increase your own happiness and satisfaction and well being. Excuse me. And how can we do that? You know, you know, we, we do a lot, do of, work a lot of work in the personality, personality tests, tests. Um, um, 
life satisfaction. satisfaction. There's a lot of, lot of scale and intervention, intervention that measures that. that. And if, if you know, you, you notice, notice that you're at an average, average life satisfaction, satisfaction there's, there's ways, ways that, that we can improve that, that to be, be good or great. great. Um, you can, you can seek mental health counseling services just, just to become, become more of yourself. yourself. Because, because there, there might, might be a field of research or knowledge that you didn't even know of. of. Like you were like doing, you were doing okay, okay, but, but oh, oh, in, in counseling, counseling, I learned about, about mindfulness. Or I learned about, about um, another, another positive, positive psychology, psychology um, assessment is to look at, they call it karma, which is like, you look at, your positive, positive emotions, emotions, your engagement, your, engagement, uh, your relationships, relationships with others, with others your, your uh, motivation, motivation, and also, and also your, achievement. your achievement. And if you and look, if you at, look these at these five factors, factors and see if they're, if they're like, like, in good in standing, standing or, or just normal, just normal but you can get the better, better, these five, five factors all together can, can be linked to how you feel about yourself, your subjective well-being. And the, and the more, more they, they are, the more you experience, the more you, the more you find meaning in, in these five factors. factors uh, uh, it is suggested that, that the higher your overall happiness, happiness would be, um, and also, also, you know, just, just general, general sense, sense of self. self. And, it's and it's something that, that we can always talk to, to, just become a better, a better part of you, a better version of you. Mental health counseling is good for that. Um, or you can learn new habits in mental health counseling as far as like how to study better. Or um, um, how, how to communicate, communicate with others, with others better, better, have more successful, more successful um, relationships with other people. Um, mental health counseling does a lot with with um, relationships and uh, just just creative, creative ideas, ideas to foster good, good relationships with whomever. whomever. You, know, you know, if we have to go over some boundaries, boundaries fine. fine. If it's if a matter of, of you know, you know identifying, identifying activities, activities and, and things, things that, that you know you know, like, like maybe your partner, partner doesn't, doesn't know, know but it's, it's hard, hard to explain. Mental health counseling can help establish that, that too. too. Um, um, also, also, it also it works, works to help, help you to build down where um, there's, there's people in your life that you may have to deal with, you don't want to. So how do you make that divide? Like, how do you say to somebody that you know, you know, you're in a relationship because, because you have, have to, to, but they need, they need to respect, respect you, you and, and also you still, you still want to want respect them. them. You know, you how do you how create that boundary? boundary. Mental health 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 is good for that as well. well. All, All in, in the, and then, and then I just want to put this slide because I wanted to emphasize the fact that you don't have to be in a bad shape to get mental health counseling. You could be good and your goal is to make something better. Mental health counseling can work for that as well. And then, and then um, um, so what are the, the last slides before, before I start talking very briefly about how, 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 how the process works here at Greenfield? But um, um, I just wanted, I wanted to talk about the counselor's role in mental health counseling. Um, you um, probably you heard, heard a lot of these things, things already in our PowerPoint, but um, I wanted to emphasize again like what the counselor does and how he might be different from family, friends, or you know anybody else that you might talk to. Um, um, counselors, counselors, we definitely, we definitely uh, work towards providing a safe and comfortable talking environment. Um, um, in the start of counseling, uh, there will be an informed consent that, that lays out, out um, the expectations. At um, um, both, counseling, counseling is free, so, so that would be stated too. too. But um, if um, there was a fee, it would be there. And also, going back to the confidentiality part, You'll be, You'll told, be told exactly, exactly why, why confidentiality, confidentiality may be broken. Broke. And a lot and of it has to do with, you know, danger to self progress. But um, everything is laid out to you because, because we want to foster that, that, that safe and comfortable, comfortable talking environment. environment. Um, you, know, you know, we provide the space, space, we provide the platform. Um, it's our job to ensure that it's a private talking space. And, you know, if an emergency situation was to arise, we also, we also have, have the immediate, immediate resources, resources needed to resolve, resolve that. that. So, so um, it's our it's goal, our goal to, make to make you feel safe, safe and talk to, talk to us. us. Um, um, next would be establishing a caring therapeutic, therapeutic relationship. relationship. Um, um, again, again, that's, that's a lot of, a lot of that, 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 that listening. listening. 
so that, so that you, you, know, know, you know, feel that you're like understood, understood and that you're heard. heard. Uh, we um, take a collaborative approach. approach. So, so, you know, you, know, you lead, lead and we kind of just, just, you know, you let, let you hear, hear the, the ideas, ideas and thoughts that you're having, having um, so, so that, that you know you, know, you get you very clear about what it is that you want from counseling or want in your life. And we become more in tune with that as the counselor by just talking to you and whatnot. And then... Um, uh, again, again, you'll, you'll know, know the warmth and genius from us, from us, from us uh, as, as counselor traits, traits, as we as talked about before. before. And then, and then lastly, lastly, we assist you in reaching your optimum level, level of, like, like, you know, well-being, well the, the psych service, psychosocial functioning, functioning, but through goal, goal setting, setting and yeah, resolving that patterns, patterns like, like, you know, any symptoms that you have, any behaviors that you have that are not working on your favor, we're able to do that. That's the counselor's role in this. And also, we want to create awareness and growth and just create that psychological development for you. Okay? We have a few more minutes. I'm not sure. I know I've done a lot of talking. I know there's a few others that's in the chat it's in, this in this informational as well. As well. Um, um, would you guys, would you guys like, like to go over how counseling works at Bloomfield? Sure, Brandon, I'll jump in for you. You're doing such a great job. I didn't need to say anything. I know, I was kind of lost in my whole space a little bit, but I got my one. You guys are one. I love both of you guys. You yeah, guys have been doing this part for a long time. So I was like, yeah, stop. You're doing that. great. You're doing great. Um, so here at the at Bloomfield, um, we definitely want to make sure that you do understand that our services is free. That's first and foremost. Um, we are a free service for you. We are included in your services here at Bloomfield College. We advise you to reach out to us. Um, here, here is what you what can you expect. expect. We, ex we, we ask that you reach out to us via email. email. Just, Just say, hey, I want to set up an appointment. Um, uh, or send a, a call, 1302. If someone doesn't answer the phone, just say, hey, I want to set up an appointment. Um, and basically what will happen is a counselor will reach out to you. Once that counselor reaches out to you, we're just asking some general information. We're asking about your, what's your birthday. We're asking your student ID. We're asking what brought you to counseling. Um, that information will give us um, some information about whether or not um, we are going to do um, your preference of whether you want virtual, meaning um, um, through, through video, video or, or if you, you want in person. In person. Um, um, we don't accept any walk-ins at this time, time um, because, because usually, usually we're, we're in sessions, sessions and that's, that's why we ask, ask that you send us an email or send us a a telephone call. Um, um, and a and counselor will get back, back to you, ask you those questions, questions and we will set, set you up with a time to meet. Um, so once we set you up with the time, time to meet, um, there, um, there will, will be some, some forms, forms that we will also send you that you, that you need to fill out. It's called our intake forms. And all of this can be done even on your cell phone, phone, your regular cell, cell phone, phone. Um, whether, um, whether you're, you're an Android, Android or an Apple, Apple user, user, you know, that's always a battle, um, um, but it doesn't, doesn't matter, matter. Whether, whether you're an Android, Android or an Apple, or an Apple user, user, you can, you can do, do this from your cell phone, phone or, or your laptop, laptop. Um, um, and in the event that, that you do not feel safe or any student doesn't feel safe and you feel like they are in immediate danger, you can call 911. Okay, right. if you can't, you can't reach, reach one of us, us you can you call 911. But, but again, we usually get, get back, back in touch, in touch with, people. with people. I would I have to say, sir, we'll let you know. know. I'll, I'll, I'll an hour or two to most. most. Um, we um, just we need just enough need time to get out of our session to get back to you. But we usually definitely get back to you within 24 hours. Give us at least 24 hours. Again, you cannot wait those 24 hours when you feel like you are not safe. Call 911 because that, that is one, is one of the rules, rules that, that we have. have. We want to keep everybody safe, safe, and the best way to do that is to make sure that you're, you're not going to hurt yourself. yourself. No, no one's hurting you, or you're, you're not, not going to go and hurt, hurt anyone else. else. Back to you, Brandon. Thank, Thank you. you. Uh, can I just ask something real quick? Yes, yes of course. Of course. Uh, yeah. Um, one thing I would like to say, and just whenever I okay, so whenever and just that. I want to go send them basically for like an email. Basically, and for you guys who just always go answer me back, I will say no later and then like an hour. It's fast service via email. 
So if you ever, if you ever, I just want to get, you know, basically in touch with the one of them, I will say also to, and you go send them for like an email because you get a real fast response just like that. Definitely have so, so business this guy. <laughs> but yes, yes, we will get back, back to you in one business day. That is our motto. That's yeah, our yeah, motto. Yeah, yeah. 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 Do it, do it for, for the, the, the one business day. day. Also, also, that, that personal, personal count, personal, personal underscore, underscore counseling, counseling. That, that is the email that we ask you to use. All of us have access to that email, so one of us will get back to you. But we prefer that everyone uses that one email. The reason being. Let's say, for example, that, you know, know, uh, Miss Charisma is out tomorrow tomorrow, and you send her an email tomorrow. tomorrow. If she's out, out, then that that way no one's checking checking her email email because she's she's out. out. But the personal personal counseling counseling email email gets checked checked Monday Monday through Friday Friday, every every day. day. Okay? Thank you so much. Again, it's free services. Use your free services. Hey, it is free. Take advantage of it. Take advantage of the free, excellent service here. Please do. Uh, you, uh, know, you know, some, some there's, there's, you know, there's, there's always, always uh, uh, we are going to go at the office from Monday through Friday, 8.30 to 4.30. Um, but um, but I'm going to let you know that, that if it's if the weekend, weekend or after, after hours, hours, there's, there's always, always someone to talk to. to. Um, here's, here's some of the information that you can have to you know, you know, New Jersey, New Jersey Hope Line, crisis, crisis text, text line, line um, um, suicide, suicide prevention like line, line, and the new life line. line. Um, you know, you know during, during business hours, hours we're, we're here. here. You know, come talk, talk to us, us as, as uh, Leticia, Leticia said, said, you know, you know just, just send us an email. email. If it's, it's after, after hours, hours or on the weekends, weekends please, please utilize, utilize these services to get the help that you need. Because there's always someone to talk to, and if we're not there, somebody else is there. Just wanted to make that point real quick. I guess that's, that's uh, uh that, that does that it, does okay? It, okay? Well, I, hope I hope you guys, guys uh, enjoyed this presentation. And, and um, again, again, we're at the Counseling Center at the Wellness Center in Talbot Hall. Hall. Um, um, stop, stop by, by you know, you know book, a book a session. We're here. We, we, we look, look forward, forward to uh, uh, working with you guys. See you guys. You guys if you ever need help, please do not hesitate. We are right here, okay? Thank you very much, everybody. Basically, for your time today and effort, it is... Uh, like I said, excellent service over here. Thank you. Okay. Thank you so much for your time. Oh, all, right. all right. Thank you. Bye-bye. See you later. Bye. Thank you. <laughs>